Hey guys, I'm Marta Geek. In this video, I have an unboxing and hands-on look of the Kids Toy Projector L1 series from VV Bright. Now, this was sent to me like around three weeks ago, so I can try it out, make a video for you guys. So that's what I'm doing here in this video. Of course, I already used it and put it back in the box. That way, you can have an idea how it looks when you get it through the mail. Now. If you've been following me on my channel, you know that I like to do some videos for some projectors, uh, you know, depending what they bring differently to, you know, to the market. Uh, this one, it doesn't bring anything different to the market. The only thing that I attract me about this projector is that since it says it's a kid's toy projector, I was like, what? And the price is only $59.99 so, or $60. So the price of entry is really good. And I said, man, I wonder if the quality is not that bad. You know, $60 price of entry, I, I don't think it's bad for a projector. So I decided to go ahead and try it out. You know, and I know because of the price, a lot of people are going to be interested to see if this is actually worth buying or not. So that's why I decided to go ahead and try it out, because especially because of the price and the name, I think it's kind of corny, you know, kids toy projector. I don't know. Um, here you got uh, controls. Uh, of course, you're going to need the control to actually navigate, and it doesn't come with batteries. You're going to have to get uh, AAA batteries here. So, yeah, it doesn't come with battery, and you will need to use this to actually navigate through the projector. You will need to do this. Um, here, you have the power cord. Of course, it's, it powers with one of these 12 volts, I think it is. Yeah, 12 volts, and the cable is pretty long as well. And uh, in the inside, okay, you got, put it right here. Da, 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 da. There you go. Now, one thing about this that I was trying to get is to give you guys a little bit more specific specs about this device. Uh, yes, the website says, or the Amazon link I'm going to leave in the description says that it's compatible with 1080p. But this is not native 1080p. Natively, is like around 480p. And it, it, that's me saying it because it doesn't really say it anywhere in the website or anywhere in the Amazon link. There's no talk about specifics or specs about this device. But for me, in my opinion, I think this is 480p. But of course, you can see 720p. You can see 1080p. Uh, video on it and the lumens also it doesn't say talk anything about the lumens it just says that it has the latest dlp and i think in my opinion is around 200 lumens or less or less uh, but here it is this is how it looks you know construction wise it actually feels like one of those fisher price toys that you know they're plastic but they are durable so that's what's actually this feels like it does feel like a fisher price toy um, here in the front, you got the Vivi Bright uh, logo or the brand, Be Clear. Uh, you got the lens right there. You got this right here. Uh, you got this is what you're going to use to focus, uh, depending now the distance you put this against the wall. Um, here is the power button. Over here, you got vents. And over here, you got the speaker in the back. You got the speaker right here in the back. You got the vents here, vents here. Um, if you want to put this on a tripod, you can actually put this on a tripod as well. Um, and if you want to read a little bit there, what it says there, I'm going to pause the video. Or you could pause the video if you want. There you go. And basically, that's it. That's how this thing looks. Here in the back, so it has these inputs, which I was surprised it had a full HDMI, a USB port, which is good because you can actually put a, a USB stick with videos on it or music or pictures. And that's how I tested the, this projector. I also connected my Nintendo Switch to this console right here. And I also connected my PlayStation 4 as well. Um, here you can use headphone jack as well. Uh, you could put a micro SD card with video on it as well here. And of course, the power cord is going to go right there. And of course, this is the IR. This is where you're going to be uh, pointing uh, your control. You can, so you're going to be pointing your control to the back of the projector. And that's it. So let me see if I can actually power it on right here on the video. Okay, so here we are back again. I'm going to go ahead and power this right here, connect it right there. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use this white sheet. Let's see if I turn off the lights a little bit there. I'm going to lower down the lights a little bit there. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. That way you guys can see. Let's say we, holy crap. So let's see there, the sound is really loud. Uh, let me see if it actually works on this because I did it on my prior video for a projector and it actually worked out pretty good. But nope, it's not gonna work out here. It needs to be a little bit more farther. You see there, yeah, it needs to be a little bit more farther. So it's gonna be hard to show you guys how this actually works here on video in real time. So I'm just gonna talk about the experience and show you guys a little bit of videos that I did record uh, while using this projector. Now, first of all, like I said, um, you gotta keep your expectations low because remember, this is a $60 projector and it's like you see in the title, it's also meant for kids. So it's a kid's toy projectors, $59.99 or $60. The quality is not gonna be super good, especially if you try to make the screen big. If you keep the screen smaller, the better it's gonna look. I did watch some videos. I did play some video games on it. It does what a projector is supposed to do. But of course the quality is not there. You can't compare this to a 200 or 400 or 600 dollar projector. You gotta keep your expectations low. Now, one thing that I was surprised was of the sound. The sound that comes from the projector is really loud and really clear sometimes, depending what you're listening to. But I was really surprised about the sound. The, the video like I said it's hard to really say that I loved how it looked because I was trying to um, different sizes and for me the sweet spot for this projector is around 32 inches or lower that for me that's the sweet spot for this projector so you know if you're looking for a cheap projector that you could give as a gift for a kid I don't think this is a bad deal because at the end of the day it's a projector and for me when I hear a projector and watching videos on the on the wall I used to be so excited for it but you know don't expect it to be a very high quality projector um, the smaller the size of the screen the better it's gonna look the colors do look bright but you have to turn down the lights once there's clear and there's light in the room you're barely gonna see the screen honestly you're barely gonna see the screen if you're an adult and you're looking this as a gift for you or for a family member I wouldn't do this I wouldn't give this as a gift for an adult but for a kid yeah why not it's a kid's toy but other than that guys thanks for watching this video let me know what you think about the projector and do you have um you know have you purchased a cheap projector that you actually liked before thanks for watching this video till next time bye bye